Let's say you just created a collection inside WeWeb, pull data from an external backend. Now is the time to use it. To do this, you would use what we call a binding. So you will bind data from the external database to a specific point inside your app. It sounds complicated like that, but you will see it's really easy. For example, when I click on this specific text, you see that here on the sidebar on the right, I have lots of plugs icons inside the design, inside the settings, I mean, inside almost everything. This says that this specific settings inside WeWeb can be linked to external data. For example, the color of the text, the background, the width. Most of the time, what we, we would use is the text. And doing this is really easy. For example, if I click on tickets, I click on the plug, I will have this specific sidebar with the custom value. Custom value is the default value. I mean, nothing is bound. Expression and JavaScript are ways to bind data using kind of, of a no-code way to do this, using expressions, and JavaScript for power users to use like small snippet of JavaScript to do some, like to bind some complex data. Let's use expressions, for example. Here I have my list of tickets, and because I selected only one text, I have to pick a specific ticket to link the text to. For example, let's take display them by title, let's go to self-hosting, and get the text. So now the text is self-hosting. I mean, that's interesting, but what I want is really repeat all these tickets from Airtable inside my, my app. So let's just remove this binding. I mean, let's bind this specific ticket, as you see here, as uh, with the tickets I have in my Airtable base. So to do this, I can't select the ticket now. I have to tell WeWeb that I want to repeat all the items inside the container according to the, my external backend. To do this, I have to find a specific container that encompass all, all the design items I want to repeat. It will be easier to understand with when you see it. But for now, let's go to Navigator. Click here. And I want the ticket list. So the ticket list, as you see, is this container. And here, you see that in the sidebar, I have items, elements to repeat. So if I go on the plug icon, select expression, know that you see that on tickets, I have this bind list button. And if I click on it, voila, I have four tickets, like the four tickets I have, uh, I have yeah, currently in my base. So it's beautiful to see this, but you see that the text is the same. Because now we have to explain to WeWeb where we want to display all the specific columns in our database inside WeWeb. So now you can click on every children in this container. So first one, second one, third one. I mean, there's no differences because now for WeWeb, they're the same. Click on the text, click on the plug icon, expression. And now, as you can see, I'm inside a child. Like, so a child is a record. So basically a record like this. And I can select any field in this record I want to bind to. So let's select the text. As, as you can see, all the texts were changed. So we will now understand that this text on every ticket in the design, you want to repeat to every title in the Airtable tickets base, basically. So we can do this for the description, for example, expression, description, and you get the idea. You can do this for almost everything. So for example, here, number of abots, and here, number of comments. And that's it. That's how you display collections of data inside WeWeb by repeating children in a container. And you can do this with all containers inside WeWeb, be it Flexboxes, divs, CSS grid, stuff like that. Everything that's repeatable, WeWeb will understand how to repeat it. And you can also reuse it inside children. For example, let's say I want to display all the comments here that are part of this specific ticket. I can also put another Flexbox with maybe another text inside it and repeat it on the commands that are part of this specific ticket.